this is I'm doing my oatmeal milk and honey soap. I already got the milk and lye in here. Ethan seems to be going through a growth spurt since he already had eaten. And it definitely wasn't time for him to eat again, so that's why I thought I was in the clear to make two soaps uninterrupted and my husband could just watch over him, but that was not the case. Alright. So, I'm going to add my... Oats. I got colloidal oatmeal. It's gonna go throughout the bar. Take these out. I'm hoping to get a groove back with this soaping and being a family of four thing is definitely difficult. Because of course you don't want this around your kids and stuff, but also it's so time sensitive that it's difficult to figure out when you can do it when you have your kids at home. I'm going to add my honey powder. For this soap, I actually use, um, I have used actual raw honey before. And this is, that's actually what I always use. And this is the first time I'm using honey powder. <laughs> Go ahead and pour the uh, fragrance oil in so I don't I don't over mix it One of my favorite bars. Just the name appeal is just is so attractive. But also just the fact that it has honey and everything in it and milk. It's so creamy. I absolutely love this bar. And but my all-time favorite bar, believe it or not, is actually the just plain castile, pure, you know, 100 percent olive oil soap that I made for Ethan since with his, you know, he's a newborn and newborns have sensitive skin. It's completely unscented, 100% goat's milk. And it is so creamy. Oh my goodness, I love that bar of soap. <laughs> So one thing that I did do um, different this time is I used a different goat milk 
I usually use the cans because I can, you know, get them readily at the supermarket. And the cans, the milk in the can is beige in color, naturally. And I think this is, yeah, it's light trace. It's beige in color naturally. And when it hits the lye, even when you freeze it, you know, you take your time and everything. Even when you freeze it, it's it darkens up just slightly. And it it's very hard to get a true color out of the soaps. Well, I actually had bought um, goat powder, goat milk powder, from the same company that makes the can. And that actually, that the milk actually is comes out pure white. So I was really, that was really interesting because, you know, I assumed it was going to be the same. But it's, it's definitely like with the, the canned milk, it, it could be like a dark ivory, slightly orange color once it's mixed with the lye. With this, it's pure white when you make it. And then it's like a, a light yellow when you mix it with the lye, frozen. So, oh, let me turn this around, actually. So there's my coffee one that I had finished earlier. Stuck on the towel, of course. All right, so um, I like it though because I feel like I would get a true color out of my soaps now. Not only the fact that it's cheaper and I can make more, <laughs> but I can definitely get you know a true color out of my soaps now as compared to having to use a whole bunch of titanium dioxide to get it. Why is there water in here? Oh, that's when I sprayed alcohol <laughs> so I wouldn't get ash on that soap all right um, yeah but anyway I'm glad that that color is it starts out pretty nice there we go all right this started to thicken up on me here I like how this didn't really um, darken up that much because I put the, uh, the honey powder in instead. Instead of actual honey. So that's interesting. But this is going to be oven processed, both of these, so I do expect these to darken up more, especially this one. digging in here well so far this is working the whole having the uh, the silicone on actual on to have it on the bottom to have it without its bottom excuse me I need to get another thing for that all right I 
And this is Kaloda oatmeal. I actually um, grounded, I, I already processed, grounded, that just sounded weird to me, I'm sorry. It kind of backtracked there because it, it didn't sound right. <laughs> But I, I uh, already grounded up all the uh, the oats, so that's is, this is all I had left. I usually just top it with whole oats, but this is what I got. All right, so do that. Get another thing here, and then we should be done. Let me go ahead and still spray this just in case. Better safe than sorry. All right, and there you go. Let's see if I can get a better look here for you. This light is just horrible. Well, tomorrow when I cut these, you'll get a better view of them, so. All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.